Hi, I am Professor Orion and I will be your facilitator for the Orion Learning Aviation Security Awareness course along with Professor Learning. Hi everyone, I am Professor Learning. Welcome aboard this journey in your pursuit to learn more about aviation security. As part of this course, we shall answer the following questions. What is aviation security or AVSEC? What are the various measures that ensure security of civil aviation? Why should we be aware of these measures? The following modules shall answer these questions. 1. Introduction to AVSEC Aviation Security 2. Access Control 3. Protection and Search of Aircraft 4. Escorting People and Consignments 5. Ramp Transfer and Transit Checks 6. Bomb Threat Procedure Let's start with our first module in which we will cover 1. Definition, Need and Significance of Aviation Security 2. Threats to Civil Aviation Security 3. Various international and national agencies regulating civil aviation security 4. A brief overview of the aviation security measures. Professor, what exactly is civil aviation security? Aviation security is the application of measures to ensure that such events do not occur. The technical definition is aviation security is a combination of material and human resources and measures intended to counter unlawful interference with aviation. It is aimed at protecting the passengers, crew, airport employees, airline employees and the general public from any form of unlawful interference. However, is aviation security regulated? Yes, there are international and national regulatory and trade bodies that actively regulate aviation security. These include the International Civil Aviation Organization or ICAO, the International Air Transport Association or IATA and the Civil Aviation Security Regulatory Authority of various countries. The Annexure 17 to the Chicago Convention of the ICAO forms the basis for all rules and regulations that govern aviation security. I think we have understood the role of ICAO. But what role does IATA play in aviation security? As you would surely know, IATA as the leading industry body enables airlines, airports, ground handling companies and other operators effectively implement ICAO guidelines. The ICAO guidelines are transformed into the IATA Aviation Security Manual which is used as a field document by operator. What role do National Civil Aviation Security Regulatory Authorities play in the entire scheme of aviation security? The National Civil Aviation Security Regulatory Authorities of various countries or the designated authorities represent their respective countries at ICAO and also monitor the implementation of the aviation security laws enacted by their respective countries by various operators operating within their countries. They also publish the National Civil Aviation Security Program or the NCASP. Let me share with you some of the examples of designated authorities or National Civil Aviation Security Regulatory Authorities. United Kingdom Department for Transport, United States Transportation Security Administration TSA, Belgium Civil Aviation Authority CAA, India Bureau of Civil Aviation Security BCAS. Professor 
could you please tell us as to why civil aviation is such an attractive target for threats? It is a very attractive target due to the following reasons. Instant publicity. Aircraft possess inherent mobility. Different nationalities involved. Aircraft can be easily taken in control. Means of extortion, ransom. Carriers are seen as flag bearers. Small quantity of explosive can cause huge damage. Economic damage to the country and the airline. All these reasons lead to what is referred to as acts of unlawful interference. Acts of unlawful interference. What are they? These are acts or attempted acts to jeopardize the security in civil aviation such as hijacking an aircraft, placing a bomb or other explosive device on board, forcible entry into an aircraft, hostage taking on board an aircraft or at an airport, etc. How do the various measures adopted by aviation security agencies stop these dreadful acts of unlawful interference? The two main functions that are carried out by aviation security agencies are anti-hijacking and anti-sabotage. What is anti-hijacking and anti-sabotage? Before we talk about anti-hijacking, it is important to understand what do we mean by the term hijack? Do you know what a hijack is? Hijack can be described as any person on board an aircraft in flight taking control of the aircraft unlawfully by threat or force. Absolutely correct. There are various types of hijackers, namely terrorists and criminals, refugees and psychopaths. Very true. Now, let us talk about anti-hijacking and what it denotes. Anti-hijacking means all measures aimed at preventing the hijack of an aircraft or aviation facilities. The responsibility for the implementation of anti-hijacking measure is generally the responsibility of state security agencies or federal security agencies or agencies authorized by the state to carry out anti-hijacking functions airport security police state police and military there are a set of rules and protocols that need to be followed to ensure complete safety let's see them one by one frisking of passengers and their hand baggage escorting of passengers to the aircraft apron and perimeter security security of the catering items surveillance in departure areas with the use of electronic aids monitoring the airport with closed circuit TV etc professor having learned about anti hijacking what exactly is anti sabotage anti sabotage is the implementation of measures aimed at preventing sabotage of an aircraft or aviation facility such as placing a bomb on board an aircraft or airport, destroying radar or aviation fuel dumps, etc. Anti-sabotage measures may be made the responsibility of the state security agencies or agencies authorized by the state or even the airlines. What are the measures implemented to ensure that these events do not occur? Let's take a look at some of the anti-sabotage measures. Supervision of movement of registered baggage from check-in counter till it is loaded into the aircraft. Anti-sabotage check of aircraft at originating station and guarding until takeoff. Guarding of aircraft at transit stations. Prevention of access by unauthorized persons by checking airport entry permit AEP or pass on-the-job supervision of all personnel security of aircrew baggage security of aircraft document bags security of catering items 
security of fuel, security of cargo, postal mail, company stores, non-acceptance of last-minute items by passengers, passengers to ensure that they are sure of the contents of their baggage. That brings us to the end of Module 1. So, in this module, we have learned 1. Definition, need and significance of aviation security. 2. Threats to civil aviation security. 3. Various international and national agencies regulating civil aviation security. 4. And a brief overview of the aviation security measures. Thank you.